Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have extra Smashing Plates session at Montecito. Not only because of the jealousy of the not-so-mystery woman hanging out with Harry in Singapore, thousands of miles away from Meghan, but at the same time, not unsurprisingly, Harry has failed to make a real dent in headlines and scope. Or as the New York Post says, he was ignored. But first, I want to show you this cover of uh, People magazine, precisely from August 2023. Did you see anything odd with it? Besides the fake smile of the Duchess of Sausages? Oh, I'm sorry, I should have included some kind of trigger warning before blowing her up this way. But uh, no, seriously, can't you see anything in particular here? Something that is just off or funny? Well, I'm going to give you a hint about this. What about now? Now you see it, right? I think there must be an intern at People Magazine who's a fan of the Prince and Princess of Wales, or why not? Maybe not a fan of the sausages. And then, well, you know how graphic design works. Sometimes there are messages everywhere. That just like Diana was called the people's princess, then I guess that Harry can be the poop prince. Sounds fitting. But no, really, the, the fact that Harry failed to make the required media waves while spurring defenseless horses means troubles for everyone at our smell. Because you might remember that Harry is not being represented by WME. And in fact, I stumbled upon this comment from Queen Mother on Twitter to uh, People Magazine headlines that says, celebrities like Kate Middleton, it says, and no, the Princess of Wales is a diplomat, not a celebrity. Or maybe there's a better way to describe her than just diplomat, but somehow it's not like royals are actual, but somehow it's not like royals are actual celebrities. So I agree with the assessment. But back to the Poop Prince, he was not signed up by WME for the sole reason that there is not an actual category in their business to represent him. In other words, they don't know exactly what he does or what he's good for. Oh, and this is another picture of him during that polo match, by the way, smiling at the not mystery woman. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I have never seen Harry smiling like this with Meghan. Well, maybe in those engagement pictures a long, long time ago. And he wasn't smiling at Megan, by the way, but those pesky photographers with their gut-wrenching camera clicks. Well, maybe he has a smile like that with Nacho, but that's it. So we can confirm that he was genuinely happy being all by himself, far, far away from Montecito. So in terms of the Duchess of Sausages, what WME is doing right now is making some kind of test drive to see what sticks. Yeah, it's not like she's going to go full TikTok influencer right now for two very important reasons. No influencer can influence today if they don't have social media. And being Megan's ego so fragile, she wouldn't be able to withstand the absolute shitstorm of comments under any of her posts, whatever they are. And at the same time, as I was mentioning yesterday, she must disclose any sponsorships with brands or else she's going to get into trouble with the Federal Trade Commission. That would be a monte shit storm. And that must be the reason why Newcom, the company that makes the, the, the patches, made sure to announce that they had no commercial collaboration whatsoever. But let's use battle language and logic for a minute. I have shown you a few pictures of Megan uh, these days, and all of them have one thing in common. I don't know how come I didn't notice this in previous days, but how many pictures from how many angles have Megan with her left hand raised so that the heavy coat she's wearing will reveal whatever she's got on her wrist? Yeah, I know. I regret every time I've said that she could have stayed as an actress. But it would have never worked because she doesn't even know what act natural looks like. And I got a very interesting question from 
5 and 5 on Twitter. So does this mean she was wearing it in an attempt to land a merch deal? Or basically they lied to save tail. And the only thing I'm sure is that this was pre-arranged and agreed upon all parties before she even got out of her house that day. Make of that what you will. But they need to be in the spotlight at any cost, whether they are celebrities or not, whether they know how to act or not. And that's why they need people like the discount Barbie Ken with this new six male med police officers, all in their 60s, have been charged with sending racist texts. The Duke and Duchess of Sausages feature in several of their racist WhatsApp messages. Oh my God. Oh my God. Seriously. Are we going to play the R card again? At this point, we should invite Shola. Or no, scratch that. She always invites herself in these circumstances. She never fails to jump at these kind of claims, or better yet, makes them up herself. And by the way, today someone asked on Twitter, describe Shola in one word. And Maru-chan just came to my mind. In case you are wondering, because I noticed that many of you didn't get the joke, Maru-chan is a brand of instant meals and includes noodles. I don't know. My, my rogues are from all over the world. And maybe you have a local brand that is more famous than this one. Why not? And, uh, by the way, I have zero commercial ties with Maruchan. I don't want to get sued by the FTC. But now you get the Shola Moss Maruchan joke. Noise. Fortunately, we've got accounts like Royal News Network to put things in perspective. What this man did was terrible, but just to put this story into perspective, since it's been used to prove Harry and Meghan's racist Britain narrative, it was only six ex-officers and all of whom had retired by 2015 before Harry and Meghan started dating. Yeah, I don't approve any racist comments, but this is a bit of a stretch. But Harry doesn't make any money with charities and whatever money Megan gets from her merchant is not enough to sustain their lavish lifestyle. So they only have one opportunity left to prove to Netflix that they can make their next production work. And the Royal Rogue is going to tell you exactly why, despite the best intentions from Netflix, this is going to flop. Netflix has decided to do everything themselves. Because Arsus Mail can't produce anything on their own, not, not with Megan at the head. Because the problem is that Megan can surround herself with the best talent, but she still wants to control everything, which is absurd. So you waste time fishing for talent and then waste their time micromanaging. So Netflix has decided to produce the thing themselves. Quicker, cheaper, more effective, and on time. But this is going to flop by the only reason that Megan's ego is going to get in the way. Not even being the story of a parallel to her story with Harry, she will want to be front and center as the producer of the film, which will upset the real ones at work. Just save this video for future reference. My Roger Rogies, remember that all you have to do to support my channel is hit the like and subscribe buttons, and it's free. Remember the two most important words, much love and bliss.